Welcome to the Philippines Premier Motor Show. This is Autofocus. I'm Ray Louis Gamboa. Here are our features on this edition of our electronic magazine, exclusive to the automobile and its industry. Starting off with reviews of two vehicle models presently in the local market, a pickup from Ford, the Ranger Wildtrak 4x2 AT, and a hatchback from Volkswagen, the Santana GTS. Plus, a feature-to-feature -feature comparison of two MPVs, the GAC GN6 GE versus Mitsubishi Expander GLS AT. On Autopedia, we'll talk about changing oil in your car. And together with the latest news and developments in the local auto industry, we shall have the highlights of the Geely M Grand Media Test Drive as our special feature. The next 60 minutes is all about the automobile. This is Autofocus. And we'll be right back after this short break. Ambition. It's not a destination, nor a finish line. It's what you keep racing towards, to push, to the extremes, to race, race, race. That's when you find the limit. That's our ambition. So you too can race yours. Suzuki El Tiga. Seven-seater in style. Suzu D-Max into new heights. Welcome back to Autofocus, the automobile show. We start this edition of your electronic magazine with a review of one of the latest automobile models from Ford. Ford is among the fullest range of pickup trucks, even its local lineup. This edition of Car Review takes a look at the Ford Ranger 2-liter Wildtrak 4x2 automatic transmission. Ford Philippines has gained a lot of traction in the local pickup truck market by offering a full range of variants from the base model XLPs to the FX Force, the Wildtrak and the Raptor. Pickup buyers are offered options with various configurations of comfort and convenience features, exterior look and styling, safety and driver assist tech to suit wants and needs as well as to the all-important budget. Among Ford, many pickup options is this Ford Ranger 2L Wildtrak 4x2 AT. The latest Wildtrak is 5,354mm long, 1,860mm wide, and 1,848mm tall with a 3,220mm long wheelbase and 232mm of ground clearance. As does all Ford pickups, the Wildtrak exterior comes across as tough and muscular with grill and cladding all exuding that Ford-built tough quality. The Wildtrak can be distinguished from its brethren by all LED head lamps, daytime running lamps, front fog lamp, even the puddle lamps are LEDs. Also a Wildtrak distinction are the black rear sports bar with what Ford calls the saber insert and the roof rails. Interestingly enough, it doesn't come out of the box with side steps. The Wildtrak also comes with the tailgate lock and tail lift assist function and the auxiliary 12 volt power outlet on the load box, all not available in its siblings. The Wildtrak side mirrors with side turn indicators also power fold and adjust. The windshield wipers also turn on automatically when sensing rain. The 18 inch alloy wheels look sporty wrapped by 26560 R18 tires.
The new ranger cabin is roomy enough to sit five adults in comfort. You know you're getting into a wild track from the leather upholstery with the unique wild track accents. The steering wheel also comes in leather with stitching. The new 4x2 wild track, however, does not come with power adjustable driver's seat, only found in the 4x4 variant. Driver's seat adjusts six ways, the front passenger four ways. The bench seat and the rear comes with center armrest and fold up function. The new wild track already features smart keyless entry with push button start as well as dual color 4.2 inch cluster screens and ambient lighting, illuminated scuff plates. Those who move around with lots of devices needing charging will find the two auxiliary 12 volt power outlets in the cabin and the 230 volt inverter in the rear console. Other comfort and convenience features include dual zone automatic air conditioning, power windows, and electrochromic rear view mirror. The Wildtrak infotainment system comes with 8 inch color touchscreen, Apple CarPlay, and Android Auto, Bluetooth with phone and audio streaming, Sync 3 with voice activated controls, built in navigation system, USB ports including one mounted on windshield and six speakers. The new Wildtrak 4x2 is powered by a 1996cc single turbo diesel engine that generates 180 PS at 3,500 revolutions per minute and 420 Nm of torque from 1,750 to 2,500 RPM. The 10 speed automatic transmission system shifts almost seamlessly in sending the right amount of power and torque called for to the rear wheels of the 4x2 Wildtrak variant. The electric power-assisted steering system on the Wildtrak provides just the right amounts of ease and feedback for driving in all sorts of road conditions and traffic situations. The suspension system on the Wildtrak uses double wishbones with pull springs on the front wheels and leaf springs on the rear wheels, standard configuration for pickups meant to carry heavy loads on cargo bed. The brake system also features the tried and tested ventilated front disc and rear drum configuration, as well as anti-lock brake system with electronic brake force distribution. The Wildtrak 4x2 also comes with electronic stability control that includes rollover mitigation and traction control, as well as hill launch assist but not hill descent control. Those not used to driving pickups with no sight lines for the cargo bed find parking quite a hassle, but the Wildtrak comes with front and rear sensors and rear view camera to make parking easier. Also added for safety and security are airbags for driver and front seat passenger, side and curtain airbag child seat isofix anchorage points, and volumetric burglar alarm system. Overall, the Ford Ranger 2L Wildtrak 4x2 AT is a good option for those looking for a well-outfitted pickup truck in the 1,540,000 peso range. After checking out specs and prices of the pickups in the market, the next best thing to do is to request a test drive at the nearest dealerships. The latest auto industry news and developments right after this break. Ambition. It's not a destination, nor a finish line. It's what you keep racing towards to push the extremes, to race, race, race. That's when you find the limit. That's our ambition, so you too can race yours.
U.S. Take the lead. Welcome back to Auto Focus. We now have the latest auto industry news. The Society of Philippine Motoring Journalists has named the winners of the 5th Driven to Serve Awards, which recognizes outstanding corporate social responsibility programs of automotive companies and, for the first time, motorcycle manufacturers and distributors. And for the second time since the COVID-19 pandemic happened, the awarding of CSR programs that benefited and served communities was made via Zoom. It is the aim of the Driven to Serve Awards to inspire more companies to fund and implement more CSR programs that will bring more improvements to communities and will give people new hope that lives can be better through education, community development, environmental preservation, and road safety. This year, we have added another category, the COVID response category. In keeping with the challenges of the pandemic, where people have risen up to extend help to communities in extraordinary measures. We shall recognize those CSR programs this morning. The DTS Awards recognizes CSR programs in four distinctions, Platinum, Gold, Silver, and Bronze, with Platinum being the highest. This year, the Heart and Smile program of Isuzu Motor Philippines received the highest distinction, the Platinum Award in the Education category. Accepting the award by Izumo was Nobuaki Kasugi, General Manager for the Sustainability Department of Isuzu Motors Limited of Japan, which funds the Heart and Smiles Scholarship Program for Filipino youth. Today, the Isuzu Testa Automechanical Training Center has already produced 351 graduates, uh, guided by the project program, uh, quality training, our commitment. Brightness future our gift. Let's assure that Isuzu Motors will continue to work hand in hand with Isuzu Philippines in providing scholarship to the Philippine youth. Thank you very much to all of you. Uh, permit uh, prospectivity and good in good health for everyone. Mami uh, Salamat Po. Also in the education and training category, Toro Motor Philippines received the gold award for providing the Pulong Santa Cruz Elementary School in Santa Rosa, Laguna with the computers and other needs to be able to hold classes online during the lockdowns. In the community development category, Ford Group Philippines Building Health Communities got a gold award, while Project Share or Suzuki Helps, Aids and Rebuilds of Suzuki Philippines got a silver. In the road safety category, Ford Group Philippines Driving Skills for Life also got a gold award. Honda Cars Philippines Teens Smart Road Safety for Teens earned a silver award and Suzuki Philippines Suzuki Safety Scouts got silver. In the Environmental Awareness and Preservation category, Honda Cars Philippines Bantay Bateria and Bantay Langis Project earned the gold award. In the New COVID Response category, COVID-19 Relief Philippines of Ford Philippines and Mobility Support to COVID-19 Healthcare Frontliners of Toyota Motor Philippines earned the gold award. The Silver DTS Award was given to Honda Car Philippines Assistance to Medical Frontliners during pandemic and the Suzuki Philippines Libre Sakai Program for Healthcare Workers. In the Motorcycle Division, the Silver DTS Award was given to Suzuki Philippines for their Suzuki Safety Riding Webinar Project. Honda Foundation's donation of 104 motorcycles to the Philippine Red Cross and donation of construction supplies to typhoon-affected houses in Catanduanes also earned a Gold DTS Award. For Suzuki Philippines, Suzuki Lens Raider J Crossover to Medical Frontliners Project was awarded the Bronze DTS. Lexus Philippines is making it easier for auto enthusiasts to own the popular RX series. Lexus announced that in the whole of April, the RX series, the company's first ever crossover, will come with zero-interest financial package. Aside from a zero-interest promo, the best sellers in the local Lexus lineup, the RX 350 and the RX 350F. Sport will also come with free two-year periodic maintenance package. Also being offered with free two-year periodic maintenance package are all variants in its IS model lineup. This includes the IS 350F Sport, the IS 300H Premier, and the IS 300H. To learn more about the promo packages available for April, Lexus invites interest buyers to check out the Lexus website at lexus.com.ph or its social media pages on Facebook and Instagram. On 
Electronic Arts Philippines has unveiled the all-new HRV, the latest generation of the popular subcompact crossover that has sold over 3.5 million units worldwide since its debut back in the late 90s. Honda is confident the new HRV will resonate as much in the local market as the model it replaces, which sold over 7,000 units since it arrived back in 2015. Subcompact SUV segment is growing every year, and when we launched the first generation HRV 2015, no competitor saw that we could dominate the market, but now there are many competitors from the China and Thailand. So by introducing the all new HRV, we want to increase our market share and also we want to increase the sales volume itself. The all new HRV combines functionality, safety, and advanced features, sophisticated design, and superior driving experience that Honda promises will amp up your life and heighten your senses. Two engine options are available, a 1.5-liter DOHC IV-TEC engine producing 121 PS and 145 Nm of torque powers the HRV's SCVT. The V-Turbo CVT gets a turbocharged 1.5-liter VTEC engine that maxes out at 177 PS and 240 Nm of torque. Both are mated to a continuously variable transmission. The new HRV also comes standard with the latest version of Honda Sensing, a suite of active safety and driver assist features. The all-new HRV is available in four colors, Ignite Red Metallic, Platinum White Pearl, Meteoroid Gray Metallic, and Premium Opal White Silver Pearl, a new color exclusive to the V-Turbo CVT variant. I would like to invite all the televiewers out there to please uh, check the all-new HRV at our 37 dealership. You could also check the pictures of the all-new HRV at our website at uh, www.ondapeel.com or you could go to our YouTube channel, Instagram, and Twitter. Thank you. Those are the latest news and developments in the automotive industry. We shall take another short break. Stay with us. I'll be right back. Ambition. It's not a destination, nor a finish line. It's what you keep racing towards, to push, to the extremes, to race, race, race. That's when you find the limit. That's our ambition. So you too can race yours. a destination, nor a finish line. It's what you keep racing towards, to push, to the extremes, to race, race, race. That's when you find the limit. That's our ambition, so you too can race yours. Welcome back to Autofocus, the country's premier automobile news and features electronic magazine. Here's our feature-to-feature -feature comparison of the latest automobile models belonging to the same category on Head to Head. MPV still have a place in many garages and homes of Filipino families. Head-to-head -head pits two MPVs, the GAC GN6 GE and 
the Mitsubishi Expander GLS AT in a spec to spec comparison. Mitsubishi is bringing in the upgraded and refreshed expander that has been first rolled out in Indonesia. Mitsubishi says two variants or trim levels of the refresh expander will soon be offered in the local market, the GLS and the GLX. The refresh expander should be a welcome addition to the local MPV segment and perhaps those looking to have a comfortable 7-seater MPV, as the family vehicle should wait a while before making a purchase. Head to Head offers a spec-to-spec -spec comparo between the Mitsubishi Expander GLS AT and the GN6GE from GAC Motors, one of the Chinese brands now gaining more and more acceptance in the local market. The GN6 is among the longer and wider entries in the mid-size MPV market at 4,780mm long, 1,860mm wide, and 1,730mm tall, with a 2,810mm long wheelbase. The Refresh Expander is expected to arrive soon, is listed at 4,595mm, 1,750mm wide, and 1,750mm tall, with a 2,775mm long wheelbase and 225mm ground clearance. The GAC GN6 has been getting admiring second looks on local roads with its stylish grille, the Eagle Eye headlamp design with wing light DRLs, the integrated bumper with uniquely framed fog lamps, side view mirrors with integrated turn signal indicators, and a sunroof. The Refresh Expander GLS arrives with chromatic dynamic shield grille, color-keyed front and rear bumpers with painted garnish, chrome belt line molding, silver painted side sill garnish, power folding chrome side view mirrors with integrated turn light, LED type headlamps and front fog lamps with silver painted bezel and 17 inch wheels. The Expander also comes standard with a rear window defogger, LED type tail lamps, lift type tailgate, rear spoiler with high mount stop lamp, front and rear towing hooks and shark fin antenna. Being wider and longer than most others in the mid-size MPV segment translates to the GN6 having among the roomiest of interiors. Inside, one finds a dashboard that looks modern and elegant with its 7-inch instrumentation and 8-inch infotainment displays housed in a single panel. The GN6 features leather seats for 7 in a 223 configuration with two captain's chairs in the second row, and bed seat for 3 with matching headdress in the third row. The captain's seat slides and reclines in the 7.5-inch space between them allows for easy passage to the third row seat which can be folded flat to increase luggage space from 3 to 24 liter to 1,000 liters. Comfort and convenience features in the GNC include keyless entry, push and start, adjustable steering wheel with controls for the audio and cruise control, automatic climate system with vents for rear passengers, electronic parking brake, power outlets, cup and beverage holders, and USB ports. A center console also features cockpit controls. A refreshed interior of the new Expander now features Mitsubishi's horizontal axis design identity as well as soft padding accents and door trims. A colored multi-information display monitor, a white light high contrast instrument cluster highlights the new Expander GLS dashboard. Arranged in a 232 configuration, the Expander seats are upholstered in rich fabric, with those in front able to slide and recline, with the driver getting a dial type height adjuster. The second row seat for a 3 split 60-40, slides, reclines, folds, and tumbles. The third row seat splits 50-50 and can be reclined as well as fold fully flat. The GLS comes with leather wrap gear shift knob and steering wheel that tilts, telescope, and features controls for the audio system and cruise control. Comfort and convenience features in the new Expander GLS include keyless entry and engine push start system, air conditioning with heater and digital controls, power windows and door locks, and electronic parking brake. Also standard are three 12-volt accessory outlets, six cup holders, bottle holders on the front doors, rear cargo storage box, and convenience hook on driver's seat. The GN6 infotainment system features 8-inch touchscreen, Bluetooth connectivity, Apple CarPlay, and a six-speaker system. The new expanded GLS infotainment system features a 7-inch smartphone-like display, audio touchscreen with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, Bluetooth, radio tuner, a USB, and six speakers. The GN6 is powered by a 1.5-liter turbocharged inline 4 gasoline engine that generates 170 horsepower and 265 Nm of torque, sent to the front wheels by a 6-speed automatic transmission. GAC equipped the GN6 with front L-type McPherson struts and rear twist beam. The brake system uses front ventilated and rear solid discs. The Refresh Expander GLS is powered by a 1,499cc engine, 4-cylinder 16-valve MIVEC gasoline engine that generates 103 horsepower and 141 Nm of torque and comes with a 4-speed automatic transmission that drives the front wheels. The new Expander suspension uses front McPherson struts with full spring and stabilizing rear torsion beams. 
The brakes provide the same confident and predictable stopping power, using ventilated front discs and leading and trailing jumps in the rear. The GM6 comes with a host of standard and safety and some of the more advanced driver assist technologies from anti-lock brakes with electronic brake force distribution, the electronic stability program, traction control, hill ascent and descent controls. It also comes in rear sensors and camera as well as three-point seat belts, dual front and side airbags, isofix child seat anchors, engine immobilizer and anti-theft alarm. The new Expander GLS also arrives equipped with safety and driver assist tech and features that include anti-lock braking system with electronic brake force distribution, brake assist, active stability control, traction control, and hill start assist. It also comes with reverse camera, front SRS airbags, 3-point ELR seat belts for 7 with pre-tensioners in the front row, childproof locks, teether anchors, side impact beams, and laminated green glass. More and more buyers are looking beyond where vehicles come from and putting more premium on specs and styling. Still, buyers are advised to also request test drive. Fine dining, a romantic garden wedding, a relaxed casual meal, or an important business event, Illustrado is the place to go. Aside from its famed paella, the Illustrado restaurant, which is located within the history-laden walled city of Intramuros, is also the favorite destination of food gourmands for its famous calios and lengua and other classic gustatory offerings. Illustrado restaurant, only for the foodies. The all-new Nissan Almera takes on every challenge with you. Equipped with what you need, premium and dynamic design that's an absolute stunner. Innovative tech for a drive that's safe and confident. And an efficient turbocharged engine to take you where you want to go. The all-new Nissan Almera challenge the standards. Motul is the most trusted motor oil of the top teams competing in some of the world's most grueling race competitions. The WRC, the WTCC, and the Japan GT. Motul is the only 100% fully synthetic motor oil in the market. It has anti-oxidation properties that prevent premature thickening and aging due to thermal stress and guarantees total engine protection. For more information about Motul engine oils, visit www.motul.com.ph Ambition. It's not a destination, nor a finish line. It's what you keep racing towards, to push, to the extremes, to race, race, race. That's when you find the limit. That's our ambition. So you too can race yours. Welcome back to Autofocus, the country's premier automobile news and features electronic magazine. Our special feature is next. A recent ride and drive event saw the Geely M Grand perform to the delight of motoring journalists as they tested the capabilities of Geely's US offering to the popular sedan market. He actually gave a media a uh, test no, or a experience, test drive experience of the 
all new GVM Grand. This is the latest uh, model that uh, GV has launched just actually this March. No? And uh, we're very much excited for this model because this is GV's first model to compete no? in the very much competitive uh, subcompact event segment. So right now, we, this is already actually our third batch uh, because we feel that uh, we cannot yet accommodate everyone on one uh, media test so we did, we did it. Uh, this in batches and uh, so far the feedback that we are receiving from, from the media are very much welcome. They like the drive of the M Grand and uh, of course the performance on uh, this uh, hilly roads of Tagaytay and uh, yeah, even the highway. Yeah. The subcompact sedan segment no, uh, is still the largest in the automotive industry. So yeah, we feel that it's uh, best for us also to have our model in the subcompact sedan segment. And in fact, for GD, we are aiming at least uh, to sell around 2,500 for, for this year. And uh, that will actually uh, uh, have us a good uh, market share of this uh, subcompact sedan uh, segment. Well, actually, M Grand has been in uh, the Chinese market for almost more than 10 years. No? And uh, the M Grand actually has been selling uh, China's best-selling model already. And in fact, when uh, GD was uh, first introduced in, in the country, the former distributor actually introduced the M Grand already in this market. And uh, actually, right now, we are having the fourth uh, generation of this M Grand already. And uh, of course, when we introduced the model, we mentioned that uh, this is already born out of the uh, BMA platform, B-segment modular architecture platform, which was, was actually uh, GD has been working on uh, with the Coolray. So it shares the same platform with, uh, with the Coolray and uh, soon with, uh, with other models. I'd like to uh, invite everyone. Uh, as I mentioned, we have already almost 30 dealers nationwide, and please do drop by any of our GD uh, dealers uh, nationwide and uh, check out the uh, this new GD M Grand, and also, uh, of course, our uh, uh, current models, the Cool Ray, the best-selling Cool Ray, and uh, GD Okavango and the GD Sky. The arrival of the Geely M Grand can surely shake up the already crowded sedan market and give its competitors a good run for their money. Ambition. It's not a destination, nor a finish line. It's what you keep racing towards to push the extremes, to race, race, race. That's when you find the limit. That's our ambition, so you too can race yours.
Suzuki Eltiga. Seven seater in style. Welcome back. We have more cars for you to know and appreciate as we have our second car review this week. In this edition of Car Review, we check out the Volkswagen Santana GTS. Is it a wagon? Is it a hatch? Does it offer much beyond Volkswagen's engineering? and cachet. Is it a hatchback? Is it a wagon? Does it fall into the subcompact or compact segment? Whatever some believe it is, or whatever segment they place it, the Volkswagen Santana GTS is 4,282mm long, 1,706mm wide, and 1,489mm tall, with a 2,603mm long wheelbase. It has 5 doors and can sit 5 and has the design and look that can fit general definitions of either a hatchback or a wagon. Volkswagen takes pride in its German engineering and Teutonic design and Santana GTS certainly manifests both. Those who like the wagon body styling of the Santana GTS will describe it as a classic. Those who don't will call it dated. But what both can agree on is that it's quite functional and practical in look and features, coming as it does with adjustable halogen headlamps, front fog lamps, roof rails, power adjustable outside door mirrors with turn indicators, rear wiper. It also comes with a sunroof. It rolls on 15-inch alloy wheels strapped by 185-60 R15 tires. The rear door opens up to gain access to the trunk with 372 liter capacity, which can increase to 1,255 liters with rear seats folded. The Santana GTS comes with roomy interiors with good shoulder and leg room in the front and rear seats. The seats come in combination leather fabric upholstery with red stitching or piping, also found on the door trims and the dash. The rear seat back folds 60-40 to provide some flexibility for loading luggage and other gear. The D-Type multifunction and tilt-adjustable steering wheel features controls for such things as the audio system. An armrest lies between the front seats. The driver's seat adjusts six ways. Convenience features include power door locks, power windows, air conditioning with automatic climate control in rear vents, front cup holders, bottle holders on the doors, and power outlets. The Santana GTS comes with an audio system with AM, FM radio, Play CD, Bluetooth, aux input, USB, and six speakers. An optional Blaupunk infotainment system features a 7-inch touchscreen display with mirror link for connecting with smartphones. The Santana GTS offers a driving experience usually expected of VW and other brands with German origins or engineering. It has good, solid, and nimble handling on both city streets and highways. There is enough grunt from the 1.5-liter gasoline engine that generates 110 PS and 150 Nm of torque for safe overtaking and driving on hilly terrain. Power and torque are transmitted to the front wheels via a 6-speed automatic transmission. Volkswagen says the AT adapts to one's driving style at any given time, from leisurely cruising to sporty performance, while also taking road conditions into account. The Santana GTS is rated to go from 0 to 100 km per hour in 12.6 seconds and to reach a top speed of 185 km per hour. The Santana also features blue motion technology that shuts down the engine when the car is stationary and automatically restarts it when about to go. It is meant to improve fuel economy but takes some getting used to. The cabin keeps outside noise quite well, while the suspension system with front McPherson struts and semi-independent composite torsion beams in the rear rides small bumps and road imperfections without drama. The brake system uses front ventilated disc and rear drums. The Santana GTS is equipped with cruise control that should come in handy to stay right on the speed limits on the extra space. It also comes with standard safety features like anti-lock brake system with electronic brake force distribution and brake assist, front and side airbags, Isofix childcare seats, as well as three-point seat belts. 
Other driving assist systems include the Electronic Stabilization Program. Volkswagen Philippines may have just equipped the Santana GTS with enough up-to-date features and technology to add to its Teutonic heritage and engineering to convince those looking for wagons or hatchbacks to get one. Know more about your car and how to take care of it here on Autopedia. Today, we're going to talk about a topic that's probably the most gus gus topic in the entire automotive universe. Changing the oil in your car. The most frequently asked question is, what oil should I use? And to answer that, very simple. Check your owner's manual. It's in there somewhere and it tells you what kind of oil that you should use. Just for kicks, we're changing the oil of this Mitsubishi Montero and then we flip to the section where it says maintenance. And here we have selection of engine oil. Now granted, this is not the most straightforward answer because it gives you a lot of different numbers and one look, most people would actually turn away and say, ah, <laughs> I have no idea what this says and I don't understand it. But most other manuals will tell you the exact specification of oil that you're going to use. And it's always a number, followed by a W, followed by a dash, and another number. And we're going to explain those numbers in a little bit, but if you just want to check it out, there are about a million YouTube videos out there that says how to explain and how to read these oil specification numbers. We're not going to do any of that, you can check that out, but we're just going to basically semi-dumb it down for everybody. Eliminate all the technical talk and all of that stuff. So this is your motor oil. Different brands different branding, but the important thing is this one here, these numbers, SAE 10W40. Every oil label has this. Since we're in the Philippines, there's only two numbers that you should remember. These last two, it's either 30 or 40. Any of them will work on any car here. The first number here with the W, we don't care because W here stands for winter. And since we're in the Philippines and winter is never going to happen here. So all you have to do is remember, 40 or 30 will work for any car that's sold in this country. It doesn't matter what oil brand that you have, it doesn't matter who makes it, what additives, all of them will work, irregardless. Just don't put cooking oil in it. That's kind of a dumb no-brainer. It goes without saying that when you buy a car, maintenance is part of it. Your engine has moving metal parts inside. The oil is the film in the barrier that prevents these two parts from rubbing against each other too much. It's no-brainer to think that if you rub two pieces of metal together, heat will be generated and metal will come off. If you don't have any oil in your engine, you're going to have a very, very short engine life. So you have to change the oil regularly. It's one of the easiest and most sure-fired ways to keep your engine happy and running long. Now, as for oil change intervals, before, back in the old days, it can be as low as 5,000 because of mineral oil. But now, 10,000, 15,000, even 20,000 intervals is not a problem anymore. Almost oils right now are fully synthetic because that's what the market demands. There are still some oils that are mineral, meaning straight from the ground, they process it, no additives, no nothing, no further processing, that's mineral oil. Synthetic oil has other additives and every brand has their own. The same way that one soap has luxury fragrance, the other soap has extra bubbles. These are the few things that differentiate the brands from each other. So that's where the synthetic comes from. The additional processing after the base oil has been processed. And by the way, as far as manufacturing goes, all oil comes from Saudi Arabia. There's no oil pump from Germany. There's no oil pump from France. There's no oil pump from the Philippines. No, all of these things come from Saudi Arabia, the oil manufacturers buy this by the barrel in bulk as the base material which consists of 90 to about 95% of the volume of the oil. It's all the same. It's the additives that make it different. The same way that gasoline is. Any brand that you hear out there, you hear it often enough, it'll work on your car. <laughs> With every change oil, it is recommended that you change your oil filter but I will say it is required that you change your oil filter. So, as the name says, this is a filter. Its job is to filter and get dirty. Once this is full of dirt and debris in, from inside the engine, 
it has nowhere else to go. So where do you think it's gonna go? It's gonna go back inside the oil and goes in, inside your engine. It keeps going round and round inside the engine with all that dirt and debris. So 200, 300 bucks gives you a lot of peace of mind. And that's how you do an oil change. Pretty simple, it takes less than an hour. You can actually do it yourself at home. Uh, you and probably one of your friends. Then beer na lang yung pangbayad. That's our feature in Autopedia this week. Taking care of your ride has been made easier. And that's all the focus this week. We hope you have found this edition of your Electronic Automobile Magazine informative as well as entertaining. Check us out on our Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram accounts. On behalf of my dad, Butch Gamboa, this has been your host, Ray Louis Gamboa. Please stay safe and healthy. Thank you.